Hey guys, this is Faye and I'm going to show you how I use Ecamm. And honestly, this screen, everything you're looking at right now can be so intimidating. Even for someone like me, who's been doing this for a while now, I'm literally every day exploring new apps and tools for creators and small business owners. Yet when I was first seeing this, I was really overwhelmed, but let me show you how to overcome the overwhelm and how to do three things really well with Ecamm. You're not going to regret it before we get started. I need to clarify. There are three major things you can do with Ecamm. And by the way, you don't have to be a pro. You don't have to build out crazy templates to take advantage of Ecamm. In fact, you can do it today without much knowledge. So here we go. Number one, present. By that, we mean you can use Ecamm to manipulate your camera, having multiple cams and present on virtual platforms like Zoom, you know, Google Meet, your live sessions or keynotes. But second thing, is that you can record using Ecamm. In fact, I can simply pull up a screen right now. I can do a screen recorder. As you know, I do a lot of tutorial videos on YouTube, and then I can just focus on the screen, zoom in and out and put myself in the corner in any shape. I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. As you can see here, I'm already having a little preview window. I just dim the light a little bit. And then thirdly, is that you can go live. You can go live by yourself with a guest, with multiple guests. You can build out these different gallery layouts in a very flexible way. So that's what we're going to do. Show you the real simple way forward as someone who is once very intimidated by this whole process and to show you that if I can do it, so can you. So here are the initial screen. You can record straight away if you want to. So I don't really like the fact that I'm moving in the opposite direction. I'm just so used to uh, using my camera while it's mirroring myself. So on the right hand side here under camera options, I can do mirror. Oh, a lot better. Now I'm more familiar with this. Let me show you some real quick stuff that you can do. You can do black and white like so sepia tone. Is it sepia? Yeah. Blur effect. Nothing is being blurred right now. I don't know why, but mirror is what I like. Secondly, what you want to do is at the top of my screen right now that I can click on that and be able to share my screen. Isn't this cool? I'm going to move my browser right next to my Ecamm window. As I'm zooming in and out, can you see the difference? That's pretty cool, right? As I'm zooming in to different parts as a tutorialist, it's really helpful. That's also reflected. You can see that I already built a little screen right here where I'm appearing in a thumbnail. I can simply kill it like so, remove it, but I can bring it back as an online teacher. Let me go ahead and show you how to do that. So first it's under overlay. So to your left hand side by default and here I can build in a little camera. I wonder which one that is, right? So it's this one right here. You see that I just click on it and now all of a sudden I have FaceTime, but wait a minute, I don't want it anymore. I just click on the eye icon and hide it. Turns out previously I used Logitech, which is a much better webcam. You know, I removed it, but I can bring it back and I can move it to any corner and it gets fancier, right? So now I can click on the edit icon. I can really change it. However I want, I can change the source. I can change the shape. I can make it wider. For instance, I can make it into a classic four by three square. I like square. I can also turn into a little circle. I can add a border if I want to or not. Oh, that's kind of neat, right? So that's it. You know, I can move it and it's just so flexible. Even with screen recorders like Dropbox capture or loom, you just don't have this level of flexibility. I can also show a video. So I'm going to click on this icon right here and I can literally pull up. Let's say go to my download folder. I just um, uploaded a video. Let's click on that video and click open. I'm still in this corner as you can see, and you can see that how flexible that is. And this is a vertical video, right? At any moment, I want to go back to just me. This is it. And I can just hide it by clicking it away, removing it, or simply click on the eye icon. So it's that simple. Now let's look at the right hand side, the camera effect, right? I have zoom and pan like so. Okay. Right there. I can change the brightness. I was so bright before because if you're working in like in a basement or the lighting is not that good, what you can do is you can brighten your video. I actually also have key lights and ring lights in my office, but if you don't, this is super helpful. 
You can change the temperature if you want. You can change the tint color. Uh, you can also reset it back at any moment. These are the basics, guys. And whenever you're ready, you can just start recording. Now, really important in the top right now, you have the option to stream, record, or using as a virtual cam. So I'm going to actually turn off stream right now, just in case I accidentally have gone live stream. And once I turn that off, you notice that the button is now record, right? So if I'm ready to go, all I have to do is hit record. But before we do that, I talked about multicam, which is something that you guys are really curious about. I bet at the bottom of my screen, I have multiple camera. In fact, right now, what you're looking at is a Logitech camera. Let me switch to uh, an Elgato camera right here. I can move it. I can set it up this way. As you can see, this is not going to be flattering, but for now, this is it. And at any moment, I can just switch, you know, switch back and forth. I can even use my built-in Facebook cam. This is probably the lowest resolution camera I have on my desk. And I can do this. But what I can also do is I can add myself with different cameras, like so. And I can also change the orientation and make them more landscape if I choose to. Let me also turn on my 4K camera, guys. Why not? We're just having so much fun here. So give it a moment. Now I have my 4K camera. Can you tell the difference? I'm all moving like all different directions. This is kind of cool, right? It works pretty much the same way when you have multiple guests on, right? Like you could be interviewing four different people here. Think about it. This is really helpful for online teachers. You can really set up your camera in many different angles. Like for instance, if you're an art teacher, you can have an overhead camera to point at the piece of paper or the canvas you're working with. Or perhaps you are a music teacher. You can have one that, you know, that's just you as a talking head and you can have another one pointing at the instrument, for example, like the piano or another one uh, overhead to see how you work with your hands just like that so let me go ahead and uh you know remove myself remove the cameras i no longer need all i have to do is this i can always add them back it's that simple you can pre-build these scenes you can pre-build these templates and layouts ahead of time and we're not going to get into the fancy stuff right now but you can just see how easy it is right so let me go ahead and hit record and you can see the record is ongoing right now. It's 1080p recording time. And at any moment, I can just go, oh, let me go ahead and resume the last video. OK, I don't want the video anymore. Let me switch back to camera. And what about my screen? Oh, yeah, my screen is happening right now. And it's just incredible to be able to switch back and forth so easily. I can pause or I can hit finish. I can hit end recording and that's it. Now the recording has been saved. You can send it to YouTube. You can edit in Descript, guys. Amazing. Or you can show the file and it's right here. There are also sound effects right here. And you can add your own if you want to. So things like that, you can upload your own sound effects if you choose to. Let me go ahead and very quickly show you how virtual camera works. First, you have to install your virtual cam. So when you first download Ecamm Live, uh, you will be prompted to install your virtual camera, your virtual microphone once that's done. So first, I'm going to just start my Zoom meeting as usual. And as you can see, it's already connected to my virtual cam. If you're not sure how to do that, simply go to your video setting here. And once your eCam virtual camera is installed, you will see it right here. If you don't, you might need to restart eCam and restart your Zoom. So I did that. I was installing everything super quickly. I didn't see it right away. But after I logged out and then back in again, everything's good. So now your virtual cam is connected. You can really just control everything, you know, directly through your eCam app. For instance, I can simply change it. You know, everything I do with an eCam, as you can see, is reflected here inside my Zoom account. Really special, really easy to control things I absolutely cannot do in Zoom. Now I can do it with the help of eCam. All right, let's go ahead and remove this camera right now. If you also want to use eCam, uh, which is the virtual mic, you get this prompt to say there's a possible audio feedback and you can use cancel. Uh, you can use echo cancellation if you want to. For me, by the way, I don't feel like I need to necessarily use a virtual mic. 
I'm totally cool with this one right here. And you may be wondering, how come I'm moving in the opposite direction right now? All I have to do is go back to my Ecamm camera, I turn off mirror, and all of a sudden, my zoom is correct. This is because inside Zoom, I already decided to mirror my video. Let me go ahead and show you real quick in case you're confused. So go to video setting right now, and then right here under video, you see camera, I already have my mirror my video turned on. Everything you do in Ecamm, it can be reflected on Zoom. I can really imagine people who are trying to up-level their Zoom game and make their Zoom way more interesting will want to consider using Ecamm. Last thing I wanna show you real quick is live stream. So I was thinking, oh, this is gonna be so intimidating. I'm so familiar with Restream and Zoom. How am I gonna go about using Ecamm for live streaming? It's exactly the same thing. So to live stream, if you're not sure where it even is right now. Like, how do I even turn on live stream? So number one here, turn on stream. Whenever you stream something, it's already automatically recorded, so you don't have to worry about the recording one. Uh, lower right-hand corner, click on new. You see new, and all of a sudden you're prompted to connect these channels, guys. You have Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, and then here you got Twitch, Amazon Live, which is getting more popular, Instagram Live, you can connect your RTMP using StreamKey. I don't usually do that. I feel like, why? You know, I'm really familiar with all these platforms. And guys, check out Restream. I've been recording a lot of videos, tutorials, and blog articles about Restream. I absolutely love the company. Partnered with them uh, two years ago. And look at that. Restream allows you to connect to more than 40 plus channels. And if you want to do that, you can just simply, you know, use uh, Ecamm and then stream through Restream. So you can all of a sudden just open up the funnel and talk to many more people on the platforms. But frankly, for me, this is going to be enough. These are all the major channels that covers, you know, uh, especially look at this Facebook, not just Facebook personal profile, but you can also stream to groups and pages as well. So with that said, what I'm going to do is connect YouTube. It's super simple to connect. You know how to do that. Now, when you get started, what you can do is you can add new destinations. You have the option to go live now, which is unscheduled, or you can schedule a start time. Once it's set up, all you have to do is send an invite link to your guest or guests. When they hop on, you don't need to pre-build any templates or you know scenes. They can just hop on. There's going to be a split screen if it's going to be the two of you uh, or different orientations you can build. If it happens to be three or four people, you can probably imagine the different orientations. So please let me know. If this helps you get started, I'm trying to make it as raw as possible, be as vulnerable as possible. I was once really intimidated by Ecamm, but now looking at the power of Ecamm, there's absolutely no question that you can build more than just a live stream or go live casually. You can build a whole show. Imagine you can actually, you know, create and set up videos, screen shares, all these things ready to go. And anything pre-recorded or live, you can merge everything together. There's so many fancy next level 102, 103 videos for and about Ecamm on YouTube. I'm going to list some of my favorite ones in the description below. In fact, I really like Ecamm as a company. I know that uh, their director of marketing, Katie, is just wonderful. She herself has done a lot of classroom recordings and tutorials. And Ecamm, even the founder himself, has created a number of tutorials that you can take advantage of right away. So if you like this video, I highly recommend that you consider signing up for Ecamm. I included a link below. That is our affiliate link. This entire channel is free. So by using our affiliate link to sign up, we get a very small commission, yet it supports our channel and the subscription is at no extra cost to you. So thank you so much for this community. I hope you check out this next video on the screen right now. I'm going to see you there. Okay.